determine the soil textures, we wanted to determine it for a number of different depths. So first thing we got to do is dig a hole. We found that these smaller shovels are the quickest to dig with, but you can use any shovel. So I've dug this hole down about the length of my arm, which is a little over two feet or 70 centimeters long. And we're going to start taking those soil depths. Now, if you're on that screen and you see units you're not familiar with, whether it's centimeters or inches, you can go to settings. And in settings, you'll find that there's a units tab and you can change it from English to metric and back again. We're going to start with that top half inch or one centimeter. And the reason that we do that is because that top one inch is what determines whether or not you're going to have wind erosion, water erosion. It's what limits seedling emergence. And even in a cropped field that's tilled, you'll often find that the texture in that top centimeter or half inch is different because of crusting. And in fact, um, we've got a little bit of crusting right here, as you can see. So we take a sample from that top half inch, we crumple it up, and what I normally do is I lay it out on a tarp, maybe an old shower curtain, an old sheet, something like that, where I've labeled each of the depths so I can keep track of them. Get all my depths, and then I can start determining my textures. So I've got my, my top one centimeter here, or, or half an inch. I go down to one to 10 centimeters, or a half inch to four inches, and I can use a shovel or I can use a knife. What I wanna do at each depth is I wanna pull out uniform amount of soil from each depth within that depth. And I can do that using a shovel if I want, or sometimes a trowel works pretty, pretty well. There we go, that's that top segment. If you wanna get it broken up, mixed together real well. Then I can go down to my next depth, which is my four to eight inches depth, or the 10 to 20 centimeter and again pull that out. So I got my soils out here, the different depths labeled. First one zero to half an inch, zero to one centimeter. On down the line, in this case I only went down to 28 inches, 70 centimeters, could go even deeper. And I'm going to start with texture. Now you can also start with color if you want. You want to make sure that your soil samples are dry when you're doing color. It's going to help us predict what kind of soil you got and some of the other kinds of things that we can do with that color information. If you can't dry out your soils, just make sure you mark when you get to that point that you're using a, a moist soil. So to do texture, I go to the texture screen and you'll notice that at the top of the screen it says texture and you can tap on that and you can select your texture. Most folks though it's real helpful to go through the key so we tap guide me and on guide me it starts asking questions. Does the soil form a ball? Well if you're not sure what that means tap on the question mark and there's a little video that's going to show you how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and run through this sequence now with this first soil. So I get a palm full of soil, and then I need to get some water on that soil. And actually the easiest way to do that is to take a water bottle, poke a hole in the top, and that's going to give you a little squirter. And that makes it easy to get just enough on, because you don't want it glistening. You just want that soil so that it's wet. And sometimes it'll get too wet. You got to add a little bit more. And now what you want to do is just work that up until you get it to the point where you've got even moisture and, at least as importantly, that that soil is all mixed together. So sometimes you'll end up with some larger pieces of soil in there, some larger aggregates. You got to break those down because what you're trying to determine is how much sand, silt, and clay is in there. And if you've got clods of soil, you can't tell what's inside them. So those have got to get all mixed up. So the first question is, does it form a ball? Well, there's no question that forms a ball, no problem at all. If it doesn't form a ball, it's like if you've ever been to a beach 
real coarse sand, that's not going to form a ball. The second question is, does it form a ribbon? So I take that ball and I'm literally going to cup it in my hand like this and I'm going to push up. So I've got this index finger is crooked like that and I'm just going to push up and see if I can form a ribbon. And sure enough, I form a ribbon. Now, the next question is, how long is that ribbon? And the length of the ribbon that we're looking for is, is it less than an inch, one to two inches, or more than two inches? Okay? And this is just over an inch. So that's going to be in the one to two inch range. I go ahead and I select one to two inches. And the next question is about the grittiness, smoothness, stickiness of it. Okay? And this is one smooth soil. It's really, uh, if I put some in the, the palm of my hand and I just kind of kind of press it around, there's not much grit in there at all. That's pretty smooth. Okay? And so based on the answers to that questions then, the app is going to determine the texture. Now when you click on that texture, it's going to come up and it's going to ask you some more questions. We want to make sure that you get the texture absolutely right. So make sure you read that. Make sure that in addition to having answered all those questions, that the answer you come up with actually makes sense. And the way you figure out if it makes sense is you read those, those descriptions of it. If you need to, go back, run through that again. We also want to, at the same time, determine how much gravel or rock is in that. So for that, you're going to want to look here, but probably also look at your hole in case there's some larger rocks. And we're going to record the percent by volume. So if you took a liter or a quart of soil and you took all the rocks out of it, how much volume would be left? All right. And there's some pictures there to help you out. 0 to 1 percent is the lowest, and so on up the line. So make sure you record both the, the gravel content, and gravel is, is anything that's, that's basically uh, 2 millimeters or about a tenth of an inch in diameter or larger. The next thing we want to do, or can do, and again everything in this app is completely optional, is we can determine the color of that soil. The color of the soil also helps us to identify it, and it can also tell us something about the carbon content, or the organic matter content of that soil, which of course is real important. 